already Geminis, so this is going to be your reading for March. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages all the time. And we're going to jump straight into this, guys. This is going to be a nine card spread dedicated to the month of March. And it's going to resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Geminis, guys. If you do not have those placements, I would definitely check out my other videos, okay? And this is going to be a different type of spell. Geminis for the month of March, please. Give me a March forecast for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Geminis. Also, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. The link will be in the description box with my other channels as well, where I do pick a card. I also give lifestyle advice and also links to my Patreon if you guys want to see daily messages and stuff like that. Everything you need will be in the description box for you. Alrighty, so the energy surrounding a relationship for March, work life... Ooh, family, information needed for your love life, the info needed for your work life, guys, ooh, work looks super good for you guys already, and guidance or info, excuse me, for family, wow, alrighty, guidance for love for Geminis, guidance for work, and the guidance for family. Oh, and then give me the overall energy for my Gemini. What is their overall energy for the month of March? And we have the Eight of Cups, all right? So let's prop that bad boy up there. So what I will say about this month, guys, this month is very awesome. Like, I love this energy for you guys. It looks super positive, And it's going to only come to you guys when you walk away from some shit. All right. When you realize your worth, when you realize what you put up with emotionally and you come to that point of just being fed the fuck up. OK. And realizing that you emotionally deserve more, you emotionally possess more than what you've been putting up with. You're going to walk away and you're going to walk into some blessings. Right. So let's go ahead and jump into this with the eight of cups, guys. Like I said, this is about you guys walking away to find fulfillment. This is not walking away because you you feel defeated. This is not that type of walking away. When I see this person walking away, especially with this staff, this is letting me know that he's walking away to manifest his dreams, his desires, okay? We all know the wand's energy is all about desires, creation, starting new, um, all about passion. So he's going off to find his passion. And a lot of you guys this month, you're going to go off to find your passion, what you're really passionate about, and you're going to stumble across it. It looks like it, but let's go ahead and get into this. All right. The energy, the first card is going to represent the energy surrounding your love life. We do have the four of pentacles clarified by the eight of wands. So for love, I really feel like you guys are going to be holding on to somebody, but also having this issue with maybe opening up in communication. All right. You may be feeling like there's a lot of things being thrown at you with the person that you're dealing with, or maybe just the obstacles in love, or maybe a lot of people are contacting you as well. Some of you guys, a lot of people are going to be contacting you. Maybe somebody that you're um, dealing with will, will be coming to see you back and forth, especially if they do live kind of a distance from you as well. But I feel as if there may be a need for you guys to open up more, especially if you are wanting to keep this person around, okay? Okay. And also making sure that you are using your intuition overall when it comes to the people who may be contacting you this month, okay? Especially if you're looking like hot stuff, Geminis, okay? People are going to want to talk to you and whatnot, all right? <laughs> but <laughs> moving forward, what I see for the energy surrounding your work life, we do have the Empress surrounding the Hierophant, all right? So you guys are going to be in your element this month. I really feel like you guys are going to be getting abundance out of the hoo-ha, right? And I feel like some of you guys, you're going to feel like you have structure and order over your career. Some of you guys also will be uh, maybe like legalizing a business or maybe like your business is going to be stepping up to like maybe a corporation or some of you guys are going to be getting promoted in your job and just feeling very abundant or just again having a job upgrade. All right. But this is you guys putting things in order, 
Um, some of you guys may have a very high status job for some of you. I feel like this is like for somebody who's stepping into some money, all right? But I feel like you are going to be stepping into a level of abundance no matter what job you do, um, Gemini's, or you guys will be taking the steps to do so, all right? If you aren't actually getting the abundance this month, you will be actually taking the steps to receive abundance, maybe in the future, if not this month. But the energy surrounding family, we do have the Knight of Wands. So clarifying the Knight of Wands, we do have the Ten of Wands. So with family, there may be like in and out passion for your family members. Um, and if you do have kids with someone, you may have in and out passion for that person as far as like, okay, whether or not you want to keep dealing with them, the relationship could be very hot and cold. Um, one minute you're like ready to fix the relationship, one second you're not type of thing. And it may be because there's a lot of things that maybe happened with your family members or just a lot of like baggage, somebody's still carrying from whatever situation may have happened here. But I feel like you have a chance to fix this but there needs to be a need for somebody to stop feeling this feeling of lack or that they don't belong for others of you if we're speaking about issues with somebody who you have kids with this is like you guys making sure that you guys are not going like in and out with this person or not allowing this person in and out Alrighty, so moving forward, the info regarding your love life, we do have the Page of Swords. Clarifying, clarifying the Page of Swords, we do have the Nine of Swords. So when it comes to your love life, guys, I will say that there is going to be a level of anxiety. I think that's the only thing that may keep you up this month um, because you may be wanting to know more about your partner or wanting to maybe communicate with someone and you guys may be having some sort of issues this month all right especially yeah if there was like a third party situation in the past there may be issues with you salvaging the relationship for some of you guys others of you this is like you still being stuck in the past and not really seeing that there's new relationships that are trying to form for you guys okay um, yeah, and you may also feel like the person that you're dealing with may be defensive and you want some shifts to take place here. Um, and that may be causing anxiety. But what I do see for work, we do have the Ten of Cups. You got interrupted. So, We're back. Okay, so the energy surrounding work, we do have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Five of Swords. So with work, I feel like you guys are going to be feeling fulfilled within that. Um, like I said, you're going to have to walk away from some things first, maybe some bad business contracts with other people. Um, after smoke is clearing, like maybe you're realizing um, that they're not being truthful about the business deal that they're trying to offer you for some of you guys. Or maybe you've been working at a job and you thought it was going to get better and it didn't, that type of thing. I feel like you are going to be walking away from some things and actually getting your happiness here. All right, but make sure that you're being consistent in your efforts to get new offers. Okay, and the energy surrounding family, we do have the star card clarified by the fool card. So I feel like you guys are going to have some healing energy possibly come into your family life, okay? Especially if there was some issues. There is a chance for you guys to go in a better direction with your family and to get things patched up. It's all about you guys kind of clearing the slate and kind of taking that leap of faith to see how things can progress here. And this is all about inner healing as well. Before you can heal any sort of connection outside of yourself, you have to heal internally that relationship that shattered. Okay, but I feel like there's some grounding energy coming in for the family life, for sure. Alrighty, so what I am seeing for the guidance surrounding your love life, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we do have the High Priestess. So making sure that you guys are taking a grounded approach when it comes to the relationships that you're dealing with, uh, making sure as well that you're dealing with grounded people, right? Because sometimes we run into partners and we can already sense that they're not stable beings and they bring foolishness to us and we kind of soak up their energy. So making sure that you're dealing with grounded people, that you're also taking a grounded approach, getting to know this person, making sure that you guys are, you know, kind of creating some sort of... I don't want to say plan because that seems like it's kind of 
forced but making sure that you're like knowing what you're doing while you're dating like making sure that you are taking account of what you want in your relationship and how you and your partner can work together to keep grounded energy in the relationship and if you are dealing with a earth sign a capricorn taurus virgo or maybe a pisces i would just overall use your intuition with the people that you're coming in contact with all right um and i'm seeing that there is a chance to go in a new direction here get new energy but it's all about you taking that leap of faith but also making sure that you are being smart about it Alrighty, so what I am seeing for the guidance for work, we do have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Knight of Cups. So the guidance for work, make sure that you are staying consistently passionate about the offers that you're getting. For some of you guys, if you're a creative person, you may get new opportunities. For others of you, there may be a chance for you to go out there and get the opportunities. Um, but you have to be consistent in those efforts because some of you guys, you may get complacent and that part of you does need to end here so that you guys can actually get the accomplishments that you seek. And the last card, this is going to represent the guidance for family, your family life. We do have the hermit card clarified by the king of cups. So you are going to have to go within kind of like what I was saying before about having that inner healing first before you can show somebody outwardly how much you care about them, how much you love them. So this month, you guys are going to be pushed, encouraged to go within to actually look at parts of yourself that you haven't really visited or that you've kind of pushed to the side, um, kind of neglected about yourself and your personality at times. Um, and making sure that you're addressing that and getting control over your emotions as well and actually knowing how to show love, express love to family members in the proper way. And even with your spouse or not spouse, a person who you may have kids with, if this is not even regarding like your family family, but... That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If this reading resonated with you guys, please make sure you like this video and comment below. Again, if you do need a personal reading, that information will be in the description box for you to go ahead and book. Okay, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. You already know that. And I wish you guys the best of luck for March. All right. Bye, Jemmies.